watching. A quick point, and I think we'll cover the rest of it in the house. Gosh, it's been raining on and off all day. Stair rods, mostly. Anyway, so there's a school of thought that says, you are the sum of the five people that surround you and that you spend the most time with. So, who are the five people surrounding you? And what effect do they have on your life? Just a quick question to ponder until tomorrow. Bye just now. Yeah, so I knew I would forget something. So coming up the stairs, I remembered because it was just we were just in my garden. I was going to do this down the beach today, but it has been blowing a gale for the last two days and it's a right racket. So I thought I would try it in the garden. Anyway, coming up the stairs, I remembered that it's important to keep in mind that the onus in life coaching, the onus is on the client to change their own life. As a life coach, you're really only guiding them Kind of, if you imagine a guy with a, a carriage and horses, you're really just guiding them to make sure that they're not going to come off the track, you know. Um, if you spot them coming off the track, then you would maybe employ another tool or maybe suggest something, you know, that might work for them, whatever. Um, so you work quite closely in life coaching, so you have to build a good rapport. There has to be trust or it won't work if um, if the client doesn't trust the life coach. And sometimes it's not a good fit and you have to refer to maybe another coach or another professional that you can think of that might be helpful to them. That does happen. You can't get on with everyone, you know. However, I can tell you, I get on with most of my clients. It's very rare, even in the massage, it was very rare that I had to refer anyone on. Um, we usually found a way forward in some in some manner or means, uh, and I always get great results. That's one thing I did, um, I do miss about it, is the fact that it's great, it was always great to see someone coming in nearly, nearly crying with pain. They've been in pain for months. And then you see them leaving, smiling by the end of the session. Or you see them over a number of weeks, improving their mobility and range of motion. That's That kind of stuff's great. I like to see improvement in people's lives, you know, and I, I think it's a privilege to be able to help with that in any way you can. Um, but so in life coaching anyway, the onus is on the client, as I say. All the hard work is actually done by them. As a life coach, all you can do is assist them, guide them, advise them, and they have to actually put the work in. If they don't put the work in, they're maybe not ready for life coaching. You have to be quite uh, dedicated when you enter into life coaching. It's It has to be a goal that you really, really want and are determined to do. If you're in two minds about it or you're not sure well it's not to say the life coach can't help you maybe you're not sure how to proceed or whatever it's worth it's excuse me it's worth um talking to a life coach initially at least to find out if one they're a good fit and the right person that is for what you're looking for at that time um and also to find if like find out if life coaching is actually what you need right now it might be another modality that that is more useful to you at that time so that's why a 30 minute consultation is is useful a free 30 minute consultation i think is a very good way of finding all that stuff out but um i don't think there's much more i could say about life coaching i could go through every single tool in the book and and all the rest of it but it's something that it would bore you to tears to be honest it's quite dry a lot of it um and quite it's quite in depth quite comprehensive at points so there's no point going through all that just now with with you guys 
I think it's better just to give an overview and if you have any questions you can let me know. Anyway, I'm trying to keep this video relatively short. So again, any questions about the life coaching and what it might involve, anything you don't understand, comment below. Um, also, as I said in the last section outside, don't forget to vote. What do you want tomorrow's video to be on? Do you want, I think we have a list, well we do, um, what did we have on the list? So we've done life coaching, so it could be tarot and oracle cards, or playing cards if you prefer. <laughs> um, card reading. Or it could be, I could give you a wee lesson and a wee short lesson or answer your questions and such like. Um, on. Do you know, it would be really good to do a live stream at some point. But that's later on. I don't think I can do that yet. If you want to see me doing a live stream or having a community tab, then comment and, and interact with the channel as much as you can. And hopefully the algorithms will allow me to do that eventually. So, or soon. Sooner rather than later, if I'm honest. So vote for tomorrow's video. Do you want tarot, etc.? oracle you know cards or do you want the smfr the self myofascial release do you want me to talk about reiki and how that works and what and what's involved with that or meditation could talk about that one i think all these subjects need to have their own video to for for people to have an understanding of them so vote and let me know what subject you want me to talk about in tomorrow's video and I think at that point we'll maybe leave it there and I'll leave the rest of it in your hands we'll see what tomorrow brings shall we and thank you for your support it's so much appreciated